Hello my lovelies. This is going to be your monthly reading. So fire signs, Aries, Sag, and Leo. I will time stamp each of the signs in the comments so you can skip around and you can find your sign. We're going to start with the sign of Aries today and see what we have for you for the month of August. All right, Aries, so these readings are gonna be short, sweet, and to the point for the month of August. So we're gonna see what your soul lesson is, your focus for the month, and then we're gonna see each week what it is that's going on for that particular week. I decided I'm gonna change up the channel a little bit and make things work a little easier, so hopefully you guys like the messages this way. I hate long drawn out messages. I feel like most people don't watch them anyway. A lot of us have short attention spans and we're busy, right? Time is valuable. So let's get into your reading. We're gonna start with soul lessons. Aries, what do we need to know? What is their theme for the month? We have a lot of retrogrades taking place in the month of August. We have Mercury, which starts August 5th to the 27th. We have Neptune, Uranus, and Saturn. All of those are gonna be retrograde during the month of August. So illusions will be revealed. Mercury, it's the planet of communication, so expect communication breakdowns, things like that. Tripping over your words, technology issues, and car trouble are potential for Mercury. Um, Uranus is like a lot of of um, transformative energy, Pluto also transformative energy, and Neptune is going to be the planet of illusion, so things really changing for the better. Saturn, the planet of karma, is also dealing out some stuff this month. All right, so your lesson is in adversity, and it's going to take discipline to overcome these challenges. However, I feel like you need to accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So if you're being challenged, it's a learning experience this month. The discipline, you can accomplish what you set your mind to. So those are where you focus your energy. Tell me what Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus needs to know for the month of August 2024. All right, you're burnout and exhausted, so don't forget to make rest a priority. I feel like in the first part of the month, especially with all the retrogrades going on, you might be really depleted, so make sure that rest is a priority. Watch out for some sort of deception. I feel like that could be a lesson that you're learning. Excuse me, I feel like sometimes we have to learn these lessons the hard way, right? And so it's not always pleasant, but it's necessary to get us to the next level. It will be revealed. If there's some sort of illusion, know that Neptune being in retrograde means that the illusions come to the forefront. And that gives us a chance to be able to transform, change, or leave something behind that does not serve us. I feel like the wait is almost over somewhere in your life, but I feel like you're closing out toxic cycles this month. I also think that you need to be cautious of cycles repeating. I feel like there could be strings attached, there could be codependency, there could be addiction issues, but you need to leave something that makes you feel trapped behind. Don't overthink it. I feel like if you think logically, you're gonna be just fine. You're gonna see the truth for what it is. So you can stop wasting time and energy on something that isn't meant for you. No more sleepless nights, no more crying over this situation. You might be changing jobs, traveling, movement, relocation, but moving to greener pastures. The possibility of pregnancy news coming in, finding your divine counterpart, and going towards somebody who you see as forever. I feel like you're always in this solitary energy, but I feel like that could definitely change should you want it to. If you're determined to go forward, there is a new love offer coming for you by the end of the month. I think that there has been a lot of obstacles for you as far as love. And I feel like you need to kind of step out of your comfort zone. You need to quit wasting energy on people who don't reciprocate your energy and finally close out that cycle so you can start something fresh. I feel like if there's been deception, you need to listen to common sense and your logic in order to see things differently so that you don't have to always do everything by yourself. You're very free spirited. You're very adventurous, adventurous, but I also feel like you need to be able to see the writing on the wall. There's some things in your life that aren't working well for you. So kind of take stock of what that is and see what you can actually let go of and leave behind and close that chapter for good. Because I feel like when you do, when you see the truth for what it is, you're going to go towards the right person who's made for you. I also feel like improvements for money. You might have waited a really long time to be successful in your career. I feel like you better sleep while you can because if you don't, you're going to be extra tired and you're going to be burnt out. So take the time to rest now. Know that any challenges that you're facing, adversity is the best way to learn and be disciplined so you can get towards your goals. Have a great month. Sagittarius, let's see what your theme is for the month of August. What do we need to know for Sagittarius? 
Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You have peace. I love that. So I feel like you're going towards your peace. Look at that. It matches my outfit exactly. How did I do that? I have no idea. All right. The peace. I am be a, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Mercury in retrograde gets me every stinking time. I have major placements with it. I will trip over my own words. You guys already know that. So you're going towards finding your peace. Whatever that happens to mean for you. Speaking your peace. Going towards leaving chaos behind and finding inner peace. Whatever that happens to be. Remember that you're a being of love and you can release all negative energy. All right. What does Sag need to know this month? Sagittarius, what do they need to know? Sagittarius, what do they need to know about finding their peace? How do they find their peace in the month of August? What do we need to see? Ooh, you're going towards your happiness. This could be union with somebody. The sun is a card about a fresh start, accomplishments, a do-over, actually making sure that you are happy. So there's some sort of achievement or accomplishments going on, and I feel like that leads to a breakthrough for you. And a breakthrough you might have, this is major change coming in. It might happen sudden or shockingly, but this is transformative energy. The tower needs to crumble in order to rebuild out of the rubble. So I feel like some major changes could be happening. I feel like you're moving, traveling, relocating, but I feel like you're contemplating what is the next step? Where do you want to land? I love how in this depiction, she's kind of looking out the window, the globe sitting there and she's got like a little um, car down here, a little van. And it's like, where is your next adventure going to take you? Where do you wish to go? And I feel like the opportunities are kind of open right now for you to actually be able to do so. Don't let an authority figure kind of put a damper on things. I feel like you could be dealing with somebody who's kind of harsh, kind of cold, kind of abrasive. Mr. Grumpy is not so much fun to deal with. He's always thinking about things and sometimes he's an overthinker. And so if that's you, you need to kind of watch your temper this month. I also feel like you need to go towards peace and know that not everything is worth the fight. Pick your battles wisely. There could be some things from the past resurfacing, could be a soulmate that's returning. I feel like financially speaking, you're going to be able to stand on your own two feet. So if you're looking for financial independence, start planning or setting some goals for the future now. It may take some teamwork to make the dream work in order for these things to materialize. And if you feel stuck, you have to ask yourself, is it self-imposed or is it outside influences? I feel like you are definitely a free spirit. You're somebody who dances to the beat of their own drum. You're charismatic, you're fiery, you're independent. And I feel like this is a person that really wants to kind of live life right now. If you're still young and you still wanna get out there and try new things, go do those things should you be able to. You also need some boundaries, so make sure that you are sticking up for yourself. Cut some people off if it's warranted to do so and go into that protective bubble. Again, feeling trapped. Is it an illusion? Are you really trapped or is it all in your head? You might need to stop overthinking a situation. So in order to do that, you might need some shadow work, some time alone, and some inner reflection to see the truth. Remember, the hermit symbolizes the light in the darkness. Sometimes you are the light for others and sometimes they hold that light like for you. So I really feel like the change is going to bring in this um, new beginning for you, the possibility of travel, relocation, new employment. So don't overthink things. Go with where your heart wants to be. You may need to ask for help and assistance along the way, but I feel like you're going to be able to stand on your own two feet. There could be some memories that come up from the past. I feel like that also gives way to new possibilities. So ultimately, I see a lot of solitary energy, but I feel like ultimately you're going to find exactly where you need to be this month. Leos, this is your season. You also have a bonus reading for your monthly because it's Leo season, so check that out. It is titled Leo season. All right, let's see. What is your theme for the month of August? And happy birthday to all of my Leos, whatever month your birthday happens to be in. Let's see what we have going on for you. Ooh, that one almost came out. Just kidding. Ha ha. All right, there it is. Relationships. That might be your primary focus this month. 
I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So I feel like what you're interested in or what you're attracted to, you, your type could be changing. It could also be that there's some things um, that maybe you once were attracted to that when you energetically shift your perspective, things like that change. So let's say you were notoriously drawn to like the bad guy, the bad girl, right? And you do some work on yourself and it's like, what did I ever see in that type of person? I'm a different person. That part will no longer be attracted to you. You won't be attracted to it because your broken pieces are healing. So I feel like you're raising your standards raising the bar and you're starting to attract like high vibrational people that's excellent that's awesome what else does leo sun moon rising and venus need to know for the month of august what do they need to know Ooh, some bright ideas could be coming in your dreams might be very vivid at this time creative thoughts um i feel like breakthroughs truth and clarity will be revealed it could also lead to a victory you might be in the spotlight or public recognition victory over a long fought battle and for some of you it could lead to union interesting so you focusing on relationships and what you want and what you don't want and taking stock of that is going to actually lead you to finding someone who's good for you. The Two of Cups is always seen as soulmate energy, but it's union with that person. So marriage is in the cards. There's also the potential for a razor promotion coming for you, enough to help share the wealth. Any sort of illusions, you're getting that breakthrough and that clarity in the first part of the month, so you're going to be able to see right through any sort of deception. Neptune's also in retrograde, so the mask is falling off. Abundance is coming for you as well. Could be generational wealth, could be an inheritance or a lottery win, the fruits of your labor definitely paying off. A job change, moving to greener pastures, travel, relocation, changes in the cards for you. Lots of positive change, which we love to see. Embrace the change, go with the flow, know that a tower comes to destroy what isn't working. And you might be manifesting these changes, so stay positive as you do that. Remember, in order to get to your new beginning, you first have to leave what's not serving you behind and go in a new direction. If you've been wanting to stand on your own two feet, that's also a possibility financially. And there is communication coming in quickly. If you've been waiting on results or waiting to hear from a certain someone, that is potentially coming in by the end of the month. I feel like the biggest thing I see is you have major improvements trying to come in. And if you're not willing to make the changes, the tower's out here telling you that it's going to make them for you. So the best bet is always to go with the flow in order to change things that don't work on your own. You do get a major breakthrough and I feel like for some of you, if you've been looking to kind of be in the spotlight or the center of attention, that's also a possibility. And maybe that's how this new partnership kind of comes about. Maybe there's something about you that somebody notices and maybe that's starts Starts to kindle to rekindle or ignite things for you I do feel like you're moving or traveling somewhere maybe it's for vacation maybe it's relocating for a job maybe it's just for um, simple pleasures but I feel like you are manifesting all these changes so keep your thoughts positive this month know that anything is possible and you have a lot of beautiful blessings trying to come in have a wonderful month my lovelies we'll see you soon